Happy Halloween, Ghost Walkers, and welcome to the Nottingham Ghost Walk Secret HQ. Now, we can't be with you this Halloween for the first time since we started, so we thought we'd like to produce this little video for you and probably some more in the future so you don't get to miss us too much. And what I'd like to talk about is the story behind this little fellow here. Of course, it's a pumpkin head, a jack-o'-lantern if you're from America. But it didn't just pop up out of nowhere. There's a very, very old legend as to why we carry round little flames inside pumpkin heads and things like that. It's an old, old Irish story of Stingy Jack. Now, Stingy Jack was a drunkard. He was a miser. He was a swindler and a bit of a thief. Never paid for his own drinks or anything like that. I'm sure you've all met somebody like that. Well, one day, Jack was in his local pub when a man came and sat down beside him. That man was none other than the devil himself. He'd come to take Jack's soul because it was Jack's time. Well, Jack thought quickly and he said, well, Satan, he says, I wasn't expecting this. I tell you what though, would you just let me have one more drink? The devil seemed to think that this was reasonable and he agreed. So the devil and Jack sat down at the table and began to drink. When it came time to leave, Jack said, well, I've got no money. I wasn't really expected to die or anything like that. So uh, I tell you what, devil, why don't you transform yourself into a silver coin? Then I can pay the bartender. Everybody's happy. You can just change back and we can all go down to hell happily. Well, the devil agreed to this and in the flash of an eye, he transformed himself into a silver coin right there on the pub table. Well, Jack picked the coin up and he put it in his little money purse. And then he got a little silver cross and he popped that in there as well, thus trapping the devil within his little purse. Well, the devil was not happy about that, not one little bit. And he screamed and raged for Jack to let him go. So Jack says, I tell you what, Satan, we'll do a deal. If I remove this cross and let you go, you promise to give me another 10 years. Well, the devil had no choice whatsoever, and he agreed to it. Good as his word, he let Jack go for another 10 years. Well, 10 years later, Jack was wandering down the road. He'd pretty much forgotten about all this, when all of a sudden, there was the devil standing at the crossroads with his long black coat and big black hat. And he says, 10 years is up, Jack. I've come to claim your soul. Well, Jack thought quickly once again, he says, I tell you what, all right, fair dues, devil, you were as good as your word, but I'd really love one more apple before I have to go down to hell. And look, it's the right time of year. Look at them lovely apples on that tree. You couldn't sort of climb up there and, and get me one, could you? The devil thought again. This was a reasonable request for a, a man's last moment of life. So the devil leapt up into the tree and began to ferret out the juiciest apple he could find there. Well, anyway, while he did so, Jack got a little piece of chalk and he chalked crosses all around the tree trunk so the devil couldn't get down. The devil was trapped in the apple tree. Oh, he raged and he bellowed, but he couldn't do anything about it. And Jack says, I tell you what, Satan, he says, if you give up your claim to my soul, if you agree that you'll never take me down to hell or anything like that, he says, I'll let you down. Well, again, the devil had been fooled. He had no choice. So he agreed to it, and the devil, as evil as he may be, is always good to his word. So Jack went round, and he scrubbed off the chalk crosses from the tree. The devil hopped down with a scowl, and poof, in a flash of fire and smelly brimstony smoke, he was gone. Well, whilst Jack had managed to dodge hell, he hadn't managed to dodge dying, so a few years later, Jack died in the dirty back alley of a pub somewhere in Ireland. Anyway, he appeared in front of the pearly gates of heaven and St Peter was there. And he said, Stingy Jack, you're not getting in here. He says, look at your life, it's terrible. He says, you've stole, you've cheated. You've been a miser all of your life. You have even had dealings with the devil himself. There is no place for you in heaven. Get you gone. So Jack wandered down to hell. He didn't really have anywhere else to go. And of course, Satan was waiting there for him. 
laughing with a smirk on his face and he says, well, 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 if it isn't Stingy Jack himself. Well, you've done yourself proud this time, lad, he says, for you can't get in heaven and you're certainly not coming into hell because I'd have to break my word to you. Well, Jack realised what he'd done. He'd doomed himself to wandering an eternity in the darkness of limbo, not in heaven, not in hell, just on the edge of the world. Well, at this point, even the devil felt a little bit sorry for him. He says, well, I'll tell you what, lad, here's a bit of summit to light your way in the afterlife. And he picked up the glowing coal from the pits of hell himself, and he tossed it over to Jack. Jack caught it. Oh, 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 damn, it was hot. It was the hottest thing ever. So he came up with an idea. He plucked himself up a turnip, and with his knife, he carved a hole in the middle of that turnip. Then he carved some some spaces in it that looked like eyes and a nose and a mouth and he popped the glowing coal inside and sure enough it lit up Jack's way. From that day back to this and probably forever and ever to come, Jack wanders the world between the living and the dead, between heaven and hell. The only thing that lights his way is a glowing coal held inside a turnip skull. And if you're lucky, or maybe unlucky, this Halloween, you'll see a sorry, dishevelled character wandering down the street with what you think is a pumpkin head. It's not a pumpkin, not like this chap here. It's an old, old turnip. And they have, with that legend, the beginnings of one of our oldest Halloween traditions. So thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoy your Halloween. We hope as well to be back in the new year and perhaps you'll come and join us then. But in the meantime, keep an eye on our Facebook channels and our website for more videos like this. Happy Halloween and have sweet nightmares, my children. Good night.